Only on Dayton 24 seven now the pandemic's impact won't be fully realized for years, but already concern is growing about one trend health officials are seeing. They say more moms are dying and black mothers are dying at a faster rate than their Caucasian counterparts. Dayton 24 seven now's Mamie Boss shows us how the pandemic may be playing a role and the resources that are available. Nationally, African-American mothers die at nearly three times the rate of white mothers. Do you feel like the pandemic is contributing to the disparities in any way? All of the interventions that have been brought forward during the pandemic have done little and in some cases, cases have worsened the disparities. Faculty OBGYN Dr. Keith Ringsinger Kendall at Wright State University says doctors have tried to adjust, but telehealth or having visits with providers via audio and vi video conferencing um, did great to continue to provide care to both pregnant and non-pregnant individuals during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. However, we also know that even when, um, like I said earlier, black women are showing up to their appointments via telehealth, the outcomes are not better. Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown has introduced legislation to address the problem, including the Supporting Best Practices for Healthy Moms Act and is a co-sponsor of the 2021 Black Maternal Health Momnibus Act. As many as half of the these deaths could have been preventable. It's unacceptable that this many black women die in childbirth in this country in the year 2021. The goals include creating a national advisory committee on reducing maternal deaths, better data collection, and extending Medicaid coverage for those who qualify during the 12 months after birth. It's not just moms dying in childbirth, but also too many babies are dying before their first birthday. In 2019, 929 Ohio babies died, and 356 of them were black. Black. You know, black infants are dying at three times the rate of white infants in this community. And it's very similar to um, black maternal health. So we know that, um, you know, black mothers are experiencing similar rates of mor morbidity and mortality. Prima Choksi, Director of Government Relations and Strategy with Celebrate One, believes the pandemic is exposing inequalities. We know these issues are rooted in things like implicit bias in the healthcare system. We know they're rooted in racism that exists in our, our country and our community. And that's why programs like Celebrate One and Montgomery County's Everyone Reach One have been created. The goal is for community navigators to form relationships with pregnant moms and to follow them throughout pregnancy, birth, and first year after, connecting them with the resources they need. Here that that mom needs food, we would connect them to food resources, we could connect them to housing transportation or some of the home visiting programs that we have available in our community. Montgomery County has programs like the Crib for Kids program, which provides safe sleep spaces for babies. I've put links to all the resources available in my story at Dayton247now.com. Just click on it under top stories. Back to you.